there are three types of covalent bonds single bonds double bonds and triple bonds yeah so when we looked at chlorine this was a single bond because when there is one pair of electron being shared we, we have a single bond when there are two pairs of electrons being shared we have a double bond when there are three pairs of electrons being shared we have a triple bond so let's take the example of o2 now this is cl2 so this is why chlorine doesn't exist as cl atoms but exists as chlorine gas which is cl2 because because it's more stable in this form yeah and similarly oxygen exists as o2 because it is more stable in this form why is it more stable let's see let's say the first oxygen atom second oxygen atom yeah now if i make this each oxygen atom has six electrons in its outermost shell yeah six electrons in its outermost shell 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 so there are eight elect uh, so so wait so why did i make eight there are only six i am really sorry about that yeah so you can see there are six electrons in the outermost shell of oxygen of each oxygen atom yeah now o o so we have dots over here no you can make them anywhere in the atom it really doesn't matter it's like up to you completely up to you when we do molecules then it is not up to you but when we are doing atoms it is completely up to you yeah so the six yeah we have six in both now you can see this needs to this needs to two completed okay two electrons so they will share two pairs of electrons now let's see how that looks like sorry uh, they will share two pairs of electrons Oh. Oh. Make sure the size is the same. I have actually made a mistake, but you have to make sure that the size is the same. Yeah. So you can see now that they have shared two pairs of electrons. Two pairs. When I when I say two pairs, I mean they have shared four electrons in total, but they are always shared in pairs. So two pairs of electrons. Now four are left over here because since this has shared two. it has four left over here and since this has shared two it has four left over here so now um when i count the total number of electrons in both atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 <laughs> and then for the second atom 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now both of them have eight electrons both of them are stable both of them are happy so now uh, this is basically uh, how we make dot and cross diagrams for covalent compounds yeah now we can also represent them like cl cl because this this single line represents a single bond we can represent this re represent this as o and o because these two lines represent a double bond so we will mostly be using these uh, lines in organic chemistry when we do organic chemistry but uh, you should know how to make them now when we look at nitrogen so we have done single bonds and double bonds now when we look at nitrogen let's take each uh, let's say cross for each nitrogen atom is not not cross sorry cross for one nitrogen atom and dot for the other nitrogen atom now each nitrogen atom has five electrons in its outermost shell one Two, three, four, five. So five electrons, and then this also has five electrons. So we know that nitrogen also exists as N two. Let's see why it exists as N two. Now you can see that uh, both nitrogen atoms. they want to gain 3 electrons each so that they can um, complete their octet so they will do this by sharing 3 pairs of electrons they will do this by sharing 3 pairs of electrons so nitrogen nitrogen and 